Hi, I am Alex and this is the art of tinkering. I didn't find any helpful information of how to repair a three-phase asynchron motor if the terminal block is missing and all the motor wires are loosely hanging out of it. So today I want to show you how I did it. Please be reminded, this is not a tutorial. Do your own research and be careful. Working with high voltages is dangerous and you should know what you're doing. I'm no expert, I'm just an idiot from the internet. The asynchron motor has three spools, U, V and W. I painted them in star configuration. But it doesn't matter right now, because what if you don't even know which wire is which end of which spool? Because if one spool is wired opposite to the others, the motor will run, if at all very inefficient, and vibrate, or possibly just burn out. You see me disassemble my motor to clean it, which is probably confusing. You don't have to do this to fix it. So here we have six wires hanging out of the stator case. I have already tested if the spool's resistance is the same for all three of them and none is shorted out. And also that there is no short to ground. It is easy to find the wires that belong to each spool by measuring the resistance between cables. But how do we make sure that the polarity is right and no spool is working in the false direction? In this case the different wire length already gave me a hint, but I want to be sure. To do this I downloaded an app which displays the reading of the magnet sensor inside my mobile, which is used for a compass for example and then place the mobile on the back of the motor. The measurement I want to take only works when the mobile is placed at either end of the motor rotor. It didn't work for me to put the mobile on the motor side. Now I connected the winding to my power supply. I set it to 4V and then just shorted the spool with it. Now as you can see the magnetic field is clearly visible. Now by reversing the polarity we see the measurement is quite different. I 3D printed a new terminal block and connected the wires like this. First I measured which wires belong to which spool. Then I picked one wire randomly and mounted it to the terminal block. This from now on will be called U1. The spool's second wire is also mounted to the terminal block like shown here. The order of the next two spools doesn't matter. I just pick the next one, check polarity by applying voltage to it and then also connected it till they were all connected in the shown pattern. It makes it more convenient to connect the motor in star or triangle configuration later. Afterwards I also made a lid for it and gave it a test. And as expected, it finally worked again. And if the motor turns in the wrong direction, we just swap two phases of the AC supply. Okay, that's it for today. Tschüss!